It's just cool to come out into the woods and find things that you can eat. You're really taking the whole tree? You can clearly see why they call it a black trumpet mushroom. So big. We don't mess around. We don't play, baby. Let's go, baby. This one's going back. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another mainstream adventure. As you can clearly see, I'm not on any sort of stream or water at this moment. Right now we are on the Hill to Sea Trail. It's just a local little trail that it's quite explanatory. It goes from the hills of uh, Maine all the way to the sea. But we're not hiking it today. We, oh, I gotta explain to you. I keep saying we. I mean me and you guys, but I also mean me. And Gemma, she's a four-year-old black lab and chocolate lab mix. Quite energetic, but a good girl. Say hi, Jem. Can you say hi to the camera? Oh. <laughs> yes, I was taking her out for a walk earlier and there are just tons of mushrooms. And I'm not really confident, so do not take this video as some sort of instructional on how to forage or find mushrooms. But I do know of one certain mushroom, and I have had them confirmed by another mushroom forager here in Maine who's very talented, and Zach as well. He actually first showed me these mushrooms. They are black trumpet mushrooms, and they're a pretty safe one to forage because there's not any or just not many look-alike. So again, forage at your own risk. Any sort of plant, really. You don't want to go eating some poison ivy or eating something that'll lay up in the hospital. Good girl. I'll be just going right here. Not going too far, don't worry. Sound like a dweeb, but it's just cool to come out into the woods and find things that you can eat. It's not in a garden, it's just growing out here. But we got a good bunch of them right here. Shh, Gemma, it's okay, calm down. They have this just awesome, like velvety, grayish, I don't even know. Oh, look at that one. Look, oh, there's multiple. There's beautiful. You can clearly see with that one why they call it a black trumpet mushroom. Walking carefully and still looking, of course, as we go. That there is what we ended up with for a harvest. Now what we're going to do is just slice them down the center. We're going to make sure there aren't any bugs or slugs inside of the mushrooms. The reason I'm using the netting is because there's this whitish like powder substance and I'm pretty sure I believe the term is mycelium editors maybe you could help me out calm down are you gonna make it I know you're tied up and you were in the woods and you have all kinds of smells in your lab no <laughs> sit <laughs> you want to go to the lake don't you I know I know I know. I'm tossing all these mushrooms right in the same kind of area, the ones that are not looking good, in the same area where there's a bunch growing in hopes that the spores will spread and then eventually just have a better patch here. Oh, they smell, they do smell good. Drop them on in there. Little Triscuits box full of black trumpet mushrooms. Close that up real quick. Definitely you'll get a treat, don't worry. Keep on moving, let's go, come on. Quick swim in the frog pond out back here. Oh, hey, 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 yeah. get the duck. Oh. She's lost. I guess we need something that floats. Okay, let's go. <laughs> You're gonna get the whole tree? I don't, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Stop, you're attacking me with the tree. Come on. You're really taking the whole tree? What are you doing, you psychopath? Let's go, leave it. Oh, 
Okay. So here's the deal. I went back to St. George River, the river I had fished in my first video. On, 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 on! Fish breaking on! Let's go, baby! And did not have any luck. Well, I did manage to land. Not land, I caught or hooked a trout. And as you can see in this clip right here, I lost them. No! No! Summer fishing, especially for trout, cold water species can be wicked tough. Caught a lot of tiny, tiny smallmouth bass. Beautiful river smallmouth. There's no shortage of these in here, that's for sure. But nothing I really wanted to eat, especially with these mushrooms. If it was survival, those tiny little smallmouth bass would be supper for sure. So what I'm going to do is use the mushrooms and make a mushroom blue cheese bacon burger. That sounds pretty good to me. So let's get this fire roaring, get the walk on and start cooking. What do you guys prefer for uh, your burger thickness? Thick burgers or thin burgers? Let me know. Beautiful plate of black trumpet mushrooms right to the onion oil. My pan's still hot, so. Oh. oh my, wow. It smells so good. Obviously, we've got the onions and the burger cooking, but those mushrooms smell, oh. Those are looking good. Okay, ah, oh, whoo. First ever forage black trumpet mushroom. Earthy. Fully cooked. <laughs> that is it guys everything to assemble my burger we've got the black trumpet mushrooms sauteed with onions we've got smoked bits of bacon we've got our beef patty some blue cheese and a delicious everything bun so let's get this put together and see what it looks like we'll go yeah i'm using my fingers Sue me. Just kidding, don't. Beef pate, which I could have made a little bit larger, but that's okay. Mushrooms and onions. Cheese of the blue. <laughs> Leave it in the comments. Blue cheese, yay or nay. Then bacon, cap it off, boys. That is it, guys. Beautiful blue cheese, bacon, and wild mushroom burger. Get the... Let's get this cross cut before the flies walk off with my burger. Boom, boom, boom. Right down the center here. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, it smells so good. Let's give it a taste test. First ever time cooking with something wild mushroom like that I foraged bacon mushroom blue cheeseburger down the hatch let's see it mm -hmm. that is good that's nice wow rock and roll that is good holy that's good very savory and i know guys this is like the second video where i've gotten stuff from the grocery store but come fall trust me anybody who's looking for more hunting type content instead of me just picking berries and picking mushrooms it's coming for sure so before i get into the second half of this burger i'd like to read a few comments from you guys on the channel that I thought were funny or inspirational and things like that. So I got them here on my phone. 
we'll start on the blueberry pie catching hook video. So somebody by the name of Christopher Peterson says, when I was younger, backpacking all through Colorado and Wyoming, we used to plant wild hippie gardens. So we'd plant gardens randomly throughout the backwoods in secret spots. And he said that he'd plant things like extra garlic, onions, corn, beans. That's pretty cool, Christopher. It's a great idea for you trail hikers. Thomas Knoll just says, Chris, I absolutely love that you decided to make your own channel along with being in Zach's videos. You all make an awesome duo. Appreciate that, Thomas. This one was cool. From Doc Watson. He says, just started the video and I have, have to comment. I love the scooter, brought me back to my high school days of riding my moped on the back roads of my hometown in Maine to go fishing. Awesome, fellow Mainer. Thank you for bringing up those memories. That's what it's all about, Doc. Thank you for watching. I love my Honda Ruckus. You guys are wondering, he's talking about that little white scooter motorcycle thing that I was driving in the Blueberry video. James from the UK says, hey Chris, that was exactly what I hoped you were going to do. Glad you liked it, James. More cooking outside, and as this was the first time you had cooked this pie, I would say a great success. Well done, Chris. I appreciate that, James. Uh, Joshua Reynolds says, blueberries don't last long around me. They are by far his favorite berry. I would agree, my favorite berry and favorite thing to harvest, really, Joshua. Ooh, I like this one. Hero Kawiti, Kawiti, sorry if I pronounced that wrong says, hey bro, why not build a towable bicycle camper for your ruckus and take us on some epic adventures? I love the idea of that, and I actually have that in the works, in the plans right now. So hopefully we can get that going. Henry says, making a pie outdoors without an oven, I'd say you absolutely nailed it. Thank you, Henry, I appreciate that positive comment. I did like the way the pie came out, but the bottom crust, where there was so much liquid in the blueberries and the maple syrup, it did make it a little bit softer. So that's what I'd fix at the beginning, or next time rather. Mings says, you have to try a blueberry sauce on fish cooked over fire. My wife and I did it with a trout a few weeks back and it was absolutely amazing. That does sound really good. I've heard of people using berries and like pine and things to flavor their fish, sage and different herbs and thing so i'd love to try blueberries on fish there's still plenty of blueberries so leave it in the comments if you want me to do that <laughs> now we're on to the uh, maple bacon tree or not maple bacon tree but the tiny island survival video where i made the bass bacon wrapped bass kebabs somebody said bacon tree had me laughing so hard i had to pause yeah that bacon tree was pretty rare you don't see those very often uh, Sam Graham says, OMG, I'm dying. You had me so fooled. Really, Sam? You were fooled by that? Goodness, watch out. Don't go looking for any of those wild sweet onion plants. And Nick Ball, I think sarcastically said, Chris has so much talent at forging. Thanks, Nick. Johnny Harper, Scout's Table. He's been leaving a lot of comments and I really appreciate that. He said, dude, this is freaking sweet, Chris. Way to roll, man. Straight gangsta island. <laughs> Can live out there, bro. Yeah, we told, I mean, as long as that bacon tree, Johnny, as long as that's in season, we're good to go. We live out there for months. Trevor said he uh, he's not afraid to minute, admit it, but he started Googling a sweet onion plant. Careful what you see on the internet, Trevor. Malcolm Coder, the owner of Hidden Woodsman, a good friend of mine, says, yes, Tiny Island Survival Challenge need to be on your next challenge you guys want to see Malcolm the hidden woodsman in the next uh, survival challenge I think we could put him up to it Josh Kimball says if you Fowler and Ovens made a cookbook I would be a happy camper I like the idea of that Josh and maybe somewhere down the line we could do that okay I suppose that's gonna be it for the comments get back into the second burger before the flies fly off it Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, that's good. Woo! Again, guys, tread lightly when it comes to the mushrooms. You don't ever know. There's a lot of lookalikes and a lot of stuff that you could either put you in the hospital or just make you real sick. You do not want that. Thank 
you for watching another mainstream adventure. Thank you guys for watching another mainstream adventure. Hope you enjoyed this one or learned something. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.